had a dream about a month ago, and in my dream, a friend of mine and I were apartment shopping, and so we're looking at these apartments that would suit like her family and my family, and in the second apartment, we walked into the bathroom, and in the bathroom, there was this bathtub, and the bathtub had like old crusty water in it, just nasty water, and there was these bowls and old, um, like old dishes in it, and she started pulling these dishes out of the bathtub, and she's like, man, these things are worth so much money. They had no idea that this was worth so much money. And so we knew like in the dream that it had to do with sometimes we don't find value behind hidden treasures. And so within you, you have like a hidden treasure. You have something so valuable that other people would see value behind it. Sometimes our knowledge becomes so common to us that we don't realize how valuable that knowledge is because it's so common to us, right? But to another individual that doesn't have the same knowledge, that doesn't have have the same insight, they will find it invaluable. Like you can't put a price on it, which led to the second portion of my dream. So after we left the apartment, we're standing outside in the parking lot and I look into my purse and in my wallet, there was this gold coin and on the gold coin, it said 1866 on it, like the date 1866. And it was a solid gold coin. And I knew in the dream that I had received this coin in exchange for a purchase that I had. It was the change that I received from this purchase. So I had bought an item, I purchased this item, and the cashier gave me change in return. And part of the change, she mistakenly gave me this gold coin. Well, this gold coin superseded my initial investment, right? So the initial purchase that I made, this gold coin was worth so much more than that initial purchase. And so that takes me into like finding value behind your stuff. Sometimes we get caught up in the price of something, but really it isn't the price of the thing, it is the change and the transformation that we receive behind it, right? And that's why I do coaching. I do coaching because of the transformation process behind it, because you get your healing in it, you get your dream in it, you get your vision, your purpose, and you set up your legacy that you are wanting to leave for your family. And you know, so whatever it is that you are in business doing, whatever product that you are selling, don't just settle for the item that you're trying to sell. Think about how how that item, how the change will transform their life and start selling based off the change that is going to happen. So your phone makes a difference in your life. It adds value in your life, right? Your uh, your stove adds value in your life. So we don't have to cook everything over an open flame. It adds value. So when they are selling us these items, they're not selling us just the price of a stove, they're selling us the convenience of a stove, the transformation that the stove makes so we don't have to, you know, cut wood and start a fire and heat up the fire and cook the food. It's it's an instant thing. It's an instant gratification, right? It, it only takes a few minutes for your stove to heat up. And your phone is accessible. You can work from your phone. You could contact people you love. You can get on social media. You can access your emails. It is the convenience behind it. And so when you are selling an item, set your price point based off of the change and the transformation that you are offering to your client base. And so don't shy away from that. Set your price off of the change in the exchange. It will supersede the initial investment. It's like 10xing right? You're going to 10x it. So even though it only costs so much money, you're going to receive so much value behind it. So if anybody is in a place in their life where they are wanting change in their life, they are wanting a transformation in their life, you're like, man, I'm so tired of this nine to five and doing the same thing over and over. I've always dreamt of doing something more. And I have just, but I'm stuck in this, this, the cycle of de being dependent on my paycheck every two weeks, every month, whatever it is, I'm just stuck on the, the comfort zone. But I have this burning desire of doing more. If that is you, let's identify your mountain. What is your mountain? What is getting in your way of wanting the more? What is the limited belief in your mind that is keeping you from stepping into success? What is the limited belief that, that you tell yourself? Why aren't you trusting yourself? A lot of people don't step out and put themselves out there because they're afraid of the rejection. They're afraid of the judgment, right? But really, you're not afraid of them, you're afraid that you're not going to show up. Sometimes in life, we have created so many mistrusts within us that we seek identification and, and who we are from other people. 
right? We allow other people to identify us and put our, our value on us. And let's stop doing that. Let's create the future that you want. Let's create the legacy that you want to live. Let's step into the more. Let's figure out what your roadblocks are. Identify the misbeliefs, the mishaps, the things that you speak into and over yourself, the things that have been spoken over to you that you tend to believe in. Let's identify those so you could create the life that you want to live. So you can leave the legacy to your family that you were meant to leave. So I'm Life Coach Heather North. And if you are wanting help in this area, I will drop my link below. But in the meantime, for your business structure, remember you're not selling an item. You're selling the value, the change, the transformation. Have a good day. Bye.